All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. And this one is actually a little different than what I said in the last video would be the next one. The Euphony video is still coming, um, but I just was having conversation with some friends and decided I might make a video on it. This one, obviously, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, is about Titan and Prismatic Titan and just kind of where Titans are in general, because, you know, why not add one more to the myriad discussions about Titans right now and there's place in Endgame? I just kind of want to talk about what necessarily the quote-unquote problem is, how I think we got here, and what I personally think would be some of the better steps to do to remedy the issues that players have pointed out with Titans and their current place in the sandbox. Keep in mind, these are just my thoughts. I am not a game developer, but... But I would like to just kind of discuss it. And again, if you have anything that I missed here that you think is important, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. As always, I'd like to start kind of a discussion with y'all. So I don't know how well this video is going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do more videos kind of like this in the future. But I do just kind of like discussing sandbox meta stuff like that. So we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. There are several things that I'm going to agree with a lot of what people have said on this and maybe even repeat some of those points. There are several things where... I may disagree. These are kind of just my my ideas behind it. So, what's the deal with Titans? Why are people just now coming to this realization that Titans have some issues? Because they're not necessarily unplayably weak. There are plenty of builds that are strong, Syntheseps are still strong, all of that fun stuff. Also, keep in mind, this is not the first time we've had this discussion around Titans in the endgame. I remember around late 2018, early 2019, during the Forsaken year, uh, just seeing a lot of videos talking about the state of Titan in Endgame Destiny and how they didn't offer as much as Hunters or Warlocks did at the time, necessarily. So I, I do think that this is a problem that's popped up in the past and then has been resolved briefly through things like the Roaring Flame Syntheseps Hammer meta or the Grapple Melee with Worm Gods build that was going on for a while but all that still kind of comes back to the same issue of titans being super melee focused and things like that so i do want to mention some other solutions i think bungie could take in the future to fix that even though again like i said i'm not a game developer i, I think some of these changes could be useful if implemented is it just because the contest raid was vastly disproportionately not cleared by titans as opposed to warlocks and hunters and well i think that the discussion around the contest raid is kind of what brought it to the forefront. I think the issues go back a little further than that. You see, Titans for the longest time have kind of been a melee class. That's no secret, even to the point where when people complained that the Strand Titan subclass and its previews before Lightfall's release were super similar to the other Titan subclasses we had, there was, uh, I don't remember the exact article, but there was Bungie essentially saying, well, at the end of the day, Titans are the character holding their fist up on the cover of the game, which is, in my opinion, a little bit of a flawed way to look at it. Because you see, currently, I think part of the problem is that a lot of the focus on Titan kits is on making them melee or tank oriented. We see that with Void Titan, you know, being very overshield oriented, cover oriented, things like that. And then most of the others having some survivability tool as well as being mostly melee focused gameplay. Because you see, the best way I would go to describe it, at least as far as subclass diversity on any given class, is take each subclass of a given class and describe it as best you can. Well, if I were to take a Warlock, for example, Solar Warlock is a bit more healing and empowering focused. You are still casting, you're still getting a lot of the things that Solar's using, because again, the subclasses all share the same systems. But then when you go over to Void, well, Void Warlock still has healing, but you also have some debuffing power with Shadow of the Old Gods, a lot of grenade focus with Devour, and Nova Bomb can deal quite a bit of damage. You're getting a lot more of the explosive portion of Void. When you go over to Arc Warlock, you still have a lot of the Chain Lightning, the Arc Soul, a lot of ways to do amplified Ionic Traces. Then when you head to the Darkness Warlock subclasses, well, Strand Warlock is a bit more about necessarily damage output. The Threadlings are the main focus, even though they're a little bit of a weaker portion of Strand. You're getting a lot of damage out of things like the Super and Unravel and things like that. And then Stasis Warlock is about lockdown with Bleak Watcher and a lot of chain freezing as opposed to necessarily being more focused on Shatter. Then you get to Hunters. Well, Gunslinger Hunter is high precision damage. The things like your throwing knives, your golden gun. You have some of the AoE explosive focus of Solar with things like Blade Barrage and the knives that are able to do explosions, but usually it's being run with golden gun, you know, high precision range damage. 
head over to Arc Strider. Well, you have a melee ad clearing super, which is not as commonly used in things like PvE, but then you also have Gathering Storm, which is focused on Jolt, essentially a target debuff and some AoE lockdown, as well as a bit of a melee build with the Combination Blow and Liar's Handshake. Jump on over to Void, and Spectral Blades is really a PvP super, so you kind of ignore it, but you're getting a lot of the lockdown debuffing part of Void with the Tether and the Smoke Bomb and all that that you get out of Night Stalker. If you head over to the Darkness subclasses for Hunter, Strand is a lot more about mobility. It's kind of a high mobility class with dodge, grapples, things like that. And then Stasis has a lot of lockdown, some shattering elements. Stasis Hunter is just a lot of slowing and freezing and things like that. Stasis subclasses do tend to blend together a bit. Then you jump over to the Titan, and well, the most unique one is really Void, which is focused on Overshield, but that has its own problems, because Void Overshield is not very strong in my opinion. The Overshields don't give you a lot of health, and there's not a lot of damage reduction on them, so Void Overshields tend to pop really quick, even in like normal mode raid content in my experience. They're not useless, but they're definitely not great. I'd rather just have healing instead of the Overshields. They're just, they're not the best. Arc Titan is pretty melee focused. There's some grenade stuff with like Touch of Thunder, but a lot of it's still going into using Thunder Crash as your super, which keep in mind, Thunder Crash's main problem is its damage is very low compared to other damage supers, especially when you include the fact that with Thunder Crash, you have to launch yourself at your target. So it, Thunder Crash doesn't really get that much done currently. You jump over to Solar and there's some healing focus, I will say, but it's still a lot of melee close range, you know, Close range throwing hammer, pick it up with Roaring Flame, Soul Invictus. Consecration is another melee focused thing because even though it hits an AoE, it's still a melee. And Consecration is not my favorite on Solar. I do think it's better when you actually get it over to Prismatic. Then let's look at our Darkness Titan subclasses. Well, there's Stasis Titan, which while technically able to do some decent damage with the crystals and the shattering and all that, is just another melee focused subclass. It's all about, you know, creating crystals and shattering them in close combat, and then also using the melee, and the super is effectively a melee super. And then Strand Titan is the same thing. While you have a lot of access to suspend, it's still a melee super, and you're kind of focused around playing around your three melee charges. Also, I, I realized that I didn't mention anything about Prismatic for any of these pieces here, and I did that intentionally, and it's because Prismatic is entirely made up of pieces of the other kits, so they adopt certain strengths and weaknesses of the other kits. Great example is, let's say you want to do a Golden Gun Hunter, but you don't like the throwing knife or the solar grenades that you get. Well, now you could have a Dusk Field Grenade or a Grapple Grenade for the movement on your Golden Gun Hunter by using Prismatic, and then you can replace the melee with whatever you'd like out of each of the subclasses. Looking at a hunter, again, you could have something like the crowd control and debuff from Tether, but still replace the rather weak void smoke bomb with something like the stasis shuriken or the sever from the threaded spike from Strand. You, you have a lot of options that come from completely different subclass identities and you're able to blend them into a more customized playstyle. Same thing with Warlock. You have supers like Song of Flame, which are much more supportive, uh, versus things like Nova Bomb, which are much more damage-oriented, things like Needle Storm, which are much more damage-oriented. You have a lot of options, and you're able to adapt your Prismatic subclass much more diversely than a Titan, where it's really the only super unique ones you have are Thunder Crash, which is not even really that great here because, again, it's weaker, and Twilight Arsenal, which is decent but not fantastic just because the damage it can do is quite high, yes, but it takes a long time to cast, the tracking is inconsistent, etc., etc. Most of your other supers are all either melee or melee adjacent like Hammer of Soul, but Hammer of Soul is being used like your other melee roaming supers. It's not really unique from the other three then naturally that bleeds over into the aspects that you have for Titans. So it's, while things like Knockout Consecration with Syntheseps is pretty strong, it's still all melee focused. You are pretty much locked into a melee build. And I'm sure there are plenty of great Titan builds out there that people have come up with that are not necessarily melee focused, but just given the tools you have at your disposal, you are almost encouraged to, to do melee more than anything else. And we really got here just by Bungie insisting that every new Titan subclass be more melee focused than others. Strand is super melee focused. Stasis is pretty melee focused. 
And I mean, even the light 3.0 reworks are relatively melee focused. Even what I would argue the, the least melee focused one, which would be Void Titan, is just that Void Titan doesn't really accomplish a whole lot. Like, yeah, Bubble is a great defensive buff, but it's not really used for much currently. It wasn't helped out very much by the changes that it got when, you know, we had Final Shape release and they decided that taking weapons of light off of it was a good idea without buffing Void Over Shields and how Void Over Shields work off of it. Because I don't think necessarily removing weapons of light from it was the problem. I think a lot of it was also just the fact that what it gained was not necessarily the most useful portion of it anyway. And a buff to Void Over Shields could fix that part, in my opinion. But it doesn't change the fact that the other subclasses are incredibly melee focused. Bungie just seems to insist that Titans need to always have at least some part of their kit be more dominated by their melee than the other two classes, which was great until Hunters got access to Combination Blow with Syntheseps and Liar's Handshake class items and now are able to do melee better than Titans can in some instances. So even the one thing Bungie insists is the Titan class identity has kind of been taken away from them by another class at this point. But that leads me to this, uh, kind of the whole point of this little yap session here. And if you only take away one thing from this video, this is the part that I want you to listen to. And it's how do we go about fixing this? Well, in my opinion, you gotta abandon this idea that Titans are the melee guy. Because if you even go back to like Destiny 1, they weren't really seen as that. Titans way back when had this identity of essentially being more of a soldier class than a melee or even a tank class. And while yes, things like Ward of Dawn have been here since the very beginning of the, of the series, Ward of Dawn was treated much more, in my opinion, like deployable cover than it was like a tank class you would use to block things. It was a way for your teammates to have a safe spot to take cover or gain a damage buff. Titans were very focused on weapon buffs, which is pretty similar to what a soldier type class would give. You also had Titan exotics like the old Ruin Wings, which would essentially help with ammo generation, which we do have in Destiny 2 in things like the Aeon Cult exotics, but it, it doesn't really hit the same way that having Titans be focused on their weapons. And again, Titans in Destiny 2 have had this before. Things like Actium War Rig and Armamentarium are very much what I would consider like a soldier class type exotic. But the issue is they just keep getting pushed aside for Syntheseps because honestly, neither of them are that good. But I think the best thing that Bungie could do right now for Titans in the current sandbox is probably just have an update where some aspects start getting reworked. Just try to take some of the super heavy melee focus out of some of the aspects. And I'm not saying that all the melee focus needs to remove. That that would be crazy to try and kill that playstyle completely. But either through new aspects being given, which I do think would be arguably the best way to do it, since with Final Shape we've seen that, you know, light subclasses are finally getting more aspects. But I think the best thing we could do is give new aspects to each of the subclasses and make sure that when the Titans get them, they do focus on providing a bit more of a neutral identity than a melee-focused one. It would be a great way for the Titan class to essentially claw its way out of just being a melee one-trick as opposed to just gutting all the melee interactions out of the kit. I do think, however, that we still have the issue of supers. Hopefully, down the line, we get more supers for either the Darkness subclasses, because keep in mind, all of those still only have one, but also just new supers for the light subclasses too because now that things like void titan has three supers and the other titan subclasses only have a couple we can hopefully hopefully see some non melee roaming focus supers be added into the kit and i would hope that eventually some of these make their way over to prismatic just because that would unlock a little bit more build diversity over there for the titan and it would be great to see because in my opinion, the issue is really not that Titans have a lot of melee. It's that when you add all these pieces together, they're kind of stuck on it. If having one or two melee focused classes is not the problem, but having four, in my opinion, is. In the meantime, since typically supers are only given with new expansions, I would hope that we just get some buffs to 
especially Sentinel Titan with things like Bubble, just some slight readjustments that make it more viable because that would at least freshen up a Titan supportive playstyle more and diversify Titans out from being just a melee bot. Whether that's melee with Syntheseps, melee with Shoulder Charge Peregrine Greaves, doesn't really matter. It's still all close range melee focused gameplay and some great buffs to Word of Dawn and Void Over Shields could really easily get at least one more Titan play style talked about a bit more often. But yeah, that's about all the yapping I think I have to do about Titans. So sorry if I'm a little rambly in this one. This was one that I just felt like I wanted to make, at least get a discussion started on. So if you liked it, like and subscribe, greatly appreciated. If you have anything else that I missed that you want to add, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. Thank you very much. See y'all the next time. Later, everybody.